Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, the 4th and the 5th, through the 4th to the 5th. Now, don't try to make this reading fit. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's that simple. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Interesting. It is interesting. This is a very intense day for many, and I don't know why but I can feel the intensity. It's like the air is thick, thick. Like you can cut the tension with a knife, you know? So, you know, don't be afraid to ask somebody for help if you need to. Um, that message is coming up for a reason. Ooh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And maybe, maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure, but I know that at the... The energy, the the feeling is is very heavy today. It's like on edge. You may be feeling like you can't breathe, you know, like you're suffocating, that kind of thing. It's like a suffocating kind of energy, like I'm ready to explode, you know. I, I, I don't know where that's coming from, but that is a message for somebody. Okay, we're going to do things differently today because that's where I'm at. Um... We're going to get three of these. Eight of Swords. Trapped. Yeah. Mentally trapped. You may feel like right now, you know, you, you can't get out of your head. You're not really, really, really trapped, but you are. Okay? You're trapped mentally. You have the opportunity for yourself. You can stand up. You can walk away. You can accept the truth. You can take that blindfold off. You can um, leave the worry behind you if you want. You can. But at this point, you're choosing to stay with the worry. You're choosing to stay where things are it's comfortable there. I mean, she doesn't she doesn't look like she's in a lot of despair. She's comfortably trapped, comfortably numb. But she has the sword. She has the other sword to free herself. She can wiggle out of this situation whenever she's ready. She can move on. The opportunities are endless. The power is in her hands. It's at her, her disposal. But she's choosing not to find the power, not to use her power and be comfortably stuck in this situation that is unfulfilling. I mean, it is. She's not happy. Why? You have to, you have, you have to change your own life. Nobody's going to do it for you. If somebody is in a situation where they don't want to be, but allowing themselves to stay there. <clears throat> the tower. The universe sees. You can't hide anything from the universe. Nothing. Oh my God. 
there's gonna be a there's gonna be a strike. There is. There's gonna be a strike. There's going to be a a blast that wakes you up. It's gonna force you to jump ship. It is. Something is going to force you to free yourself from this mental trap that you've kept yourself in. There's going to be a rude awakening that comes about because you are in a situation that is no longer, that you're not meant to be in. Seriously. It's false. The universe sees that it's false. And they're about to strike. The universe is about to strike. It's all, it wasn't built stable. It wasn't. It was meant to crack. This has, whatever has happened, has happened to make you face opposition. To make you find the strength to do what's right for you. To make you see the light. The light is coming whether you like it or not. The light is coming. Six of Pentacles. Do you even know what you deserve? Do you? You deserve a situation or a relationship where there is attraction in chemistry. You deserve to have it all. I think the universe is going to come in and wake somebody up the hard way and make them Look at all that they have, all that they could have. The universe is coming in to help somebody free themselves because they deserve so much more. You deserve to receive what you give. Very interesting. Let's get some clarifiers here. Somebody is in a situation that this is not love. Okay, it's not love. And the universe sees that it's not love. And what goes around truly does come around. I believe that there is going to be some sort of conflict.
there could even be some pettiness. Some there, there could even be a fight that allows somebody to free themselves from something. There's going to be a freedom. There's going to be a personal freedom. There's 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 going to be a liberation from something. So there's going to be a breakup of some sort. Something is is basically. being removed. A toxic situation is being removed. Somebody is about to get take back control of their lives with a little bit of help from the universe. The universe is wanting somebody to free themselves from the bonds, the, the ties, the chains that bind them to a situation that is unhealthy. And you may need some help because, like, there's five hands here. You let your friends help you. There could be, you know, some kind of, I don't know, st structural damage in your house. There could, I don't know what this is, but there could be some sort of, you know, this reminds me of 9 11. You know what I mean? I just happened to look at this and it looks like, I mean, it's a tower and there's a blast and. It almost looks like it's a, a fatality, you know what I mean? And I saw that, but I, I stopped myself from saying it, you know, I'm not sure. And some, I, mean, I, was gonna, I stopped myself. So if you ever hear me go blank, it's because I'm trying to change my words. Um, but it feels like, you know, there's somebody, something is dying. Something is dying. And that's what I wanted to say after this card came out, but I stopped myself from saying it. You may need some help. Now this is the devil card reversed. This is taking back control, breaking those bonds, breaking those chains. Freedom. So somebody is being freed from a situation that is unhealthy because they deserve so much more. And it's like this, when I see this card, and as I always pause when I see this card in this deck because it, it's not like the traditional meaning. It's not. I mean, it's the Six of Pentacles. He's looking down. It's like he's, when I see this card, when I see this card, it's like he's in heaven and he's looking down at his past. You know, that's what it looks like when I look at this card. He's looking down at his family, his his home, his his town and you know, I'm getting the goosebumps. So I don't know if somebody from the other side is helping you. Just keep that in mind. Maybe somebody from the other side is this universe and they're trying to make it help you make a change and now the goosebumps are big. So that's what this is. I feel like I mean these cards I don't go by traditional meanings anyway. I go by what I see. I feel like like there could be somebody from the other side that has passed away that is sees what you deserve and they may be coming in to remove the toxic the toxins the the shit that doesn't serve you and and in order to that for that to happen sometimes it is a shit storm and and you know sometimes you may need help you may need help sometimes the only way to get a person to free themselves is for it to hurt you know, for it to be drastic. And this is drastic. It is. It is. So if you, you know, people sometimes they get upset with me for my tone. If I was to talk to you in every reading with that sweet little tone, would you even, would you do anything about it? You know, and that's the way it is in life. If you, if you don't, sugar and spice and everything nice can only get you so far and I'm not saying that it that you should be mean but it doesn't get heard okay it doesn't get heard shit storms get heard they get seen action is taken when there is a shit storm and there's a shit storm a brewing and that is the message of the day this 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 shit storm is going to help you to free yourself 
okay? From something that is not meant to be. And I feel like this help from above it could be from somebody, an ancestor, that has been looking down, okay? He's been looking down, and he or she, I got the goosebumps like mad, is looking down at what's going on. And they see that you deserve more. And that you're not doing anything about it. So they could bring about a conflict, okay? Five of Wands, a conflict. So that you will free yourself from a toxic situation. There's Seven of Swords, okay, at the bottom of this deck. We know what the Seven of Swords is. There's a sneaky, shady situation that is deceptive. It's a lie. There's a betrayal that the universe, it can't be hidden, like I started this out, it can't be hidden. Betrayal cannot be hidden from the universe. Or from, you know, the, the past souls. It cannot be hidden. They see it. So be prepared. Be prepared for, for some sort of shitstorm. We're going to get you one of these. And like I started this out, the, the feeling is intense. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, that, and, that, and it is intense. It is an intense energy for today and tomorrow. So be prepared, you know. To pull that sword out from behind your back and use it if you need to. To protect yourself. Be prepared. Be prepared to cut those cords. Be prepared to cut those chains. To break those chains. With the devil reverse, the ten of swords reverse, and the eight of swords. Be prepared to break those chains. Finding sanctuary. Yeah. Exactly. Makes a lot of sense to me. Opening to your spiritual source. Of course. I gotta put it over here. Finding sanctuary. Rest. Rejuvenate. Tune into your spiritual source. It's in times of retreat and in inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection. Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. You notice I just kicked that? There's going to be a shake-up. You may need to retreat. Sometimes the voyager becomes travel-weary. The pack becomes heavy and the journey becomes lackluster. It's in these moments that the traveler needs to step off the path and find a temple or sanctuary to reassess and renew and to remember what is truly important in life. This gives perspective and new life strategies. Create a place of beauty in your home or in nature that feels sacred and holy and spend time there, carefully listening to your inner voice. If you've been pushing too hard or struggling to keep going, this is the time to be still and nurture your internal world. Listen to the voice of spirit. Listen to the voice of spirit. And you have, a, you have an opportunity to avert, avert this. shitstorm if you if you do what you got to do for yourself don't leave it up to the universe you do it unless you want a shitstorm
So I'm thinking we're gonna get one of these as well. Hmm. Take a moment, stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Somebody needs to stop deceiving their se themselves. That's what this is. They may be in a one-sided situation and refusing to accept it, but the universe sees it. This could go so many different ways. The fact of the matter is, is you have the opportunity to avoid the shitstorm if you take action. If you don't take action, be prepared. That's my message for today.